If you have been wanting to create videos for your business, but haven't done so because you don't feel like you have a nice office setup, today I'm gonna show you how to create a fake background for your videos and transform it from this to this. Now, all the tools that we will be using today are free and I will leave a link to each of them in the description box below. We're gonna be using Leonardo AI to generate our background and CapCut video software to edit our video. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is head over to Google and go ahead and do a search for Leonardo AI. Now from here, go ahead and click on the first tab and you're gonna create a free account. You don't need a credit card and you automatically get 150 free credits. Now go ahead and log into your account and you're gonna see in your top left corner the credits that you currently have. If you ever are low, you could just click on upgrade to get more credits. Now from here, you're gonna to go to image generation. If you have used this program prior before, you will see your prompts, your settings already here, and your previous work here. One thing that I noticed when I was playing around with it earlier is that you do need to specify the size. And because we're doing a YouTube background, this is not the proper size, even though I could still play around with this image. So what I ended up doing was changing the size right here from 1280 to 720 in height because this is the appropriate size for a YouTube background. Now, I also picked two photos here. You could do three or four for variations. Sometimes you get different variations like this one. Sometimes it might generate the same photo twice with a slight generate, um, variation of it. So just keep that in mind. Once you're happy with the sizing here, you have the amount of images that you want and you have the prompt you want to go ahead and click on generate. Now make sure with the prompt that you're very specific to what you want. So I put, I want a feminine office background. I want plants. I want bookshelves. I want books. I want it to feel airy and light as you can see, and then go ahead and click on generate. And what it's going to do is going to generate based on what you wrote. So the more specific you are, the better your photo will show up. So just keep that in mind. After it produces your photo, you're able to go ahead and click on the photo itself. As you can see here, here we have it and you're able to see it. Now this is the right size for YouTube. Now the photo will be a little bit blurry. That's one thing that I noticed, but doesn't really matter because we are going to blur it out in the video in the background. So you as the person in the video stands out. So we are good to go. Once you're happy with the photo selection, go ahead and click on the download image. Now what we're going to do is head over to CapCut to add the image to our background. All right, so the next step is to head over to CapCut, whether you're using the desktop version of it or you're using it on your phone. It's free to use. Go ahead and click on Create Project. From here, you're going to go ahead and import your photo and the image that you're working on. So I'm going to go ahead and do both here. Now I'm going to import the video that I'm working on. So once you have both of them, go ahead and start with the video, drag it to the timeline and go ahead and click on remove background and then scroll down and click on auto removal. This is going to take a few minutes, depending on the size of the video, it might take longer if you have a large video to remove the background. Once it's completed, it's going to look something like this. The background is removed and all you're going to see is yourself in the video. Now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the photo. At, that you're working with and you're going to drag it to the timeline. Sometimes when you drag a photo, it will tell you color space is not united. Would you like us to fix that? And yes, go ahead and do that because it does normally fix your photo to make it look even better. So I'm going to go ahead and click on adapt. As you can see, it made the photo even nicer. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag the video on top of the photo because essentially I want the photo to be in the background. From here, what you want to do is select the photo by clicking on the photo and you want to go in the corner right here and drag it out. You want to extend it all the way to the end of the video right there. Another thing that you want to do is you want to add a little bit of blurriness in the background. So that way you, the outline of you and you as in the video stands out. So we're going to click on the photo again. We're going to go to effects on the top up here. And we're going to be looking for blur. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the word blur, do a quick search. And this is the one that you specifically want this one here, go ahead and grab it, 
drag it to the actual photo. As you can see, it now is blurry and you can see how I stand out even more now. Like the video looks even better. Now what you want to do is fix the opacity of the blurriness. I don't want to make it too blurry. I just want to make sure that the quality of the video, like me in a self looks nice, crispy and clear. And I think it actually looks pretty, pretty nice there. Once you're happy with the blurriness, you can go and play around with effects. You could add light filters to the video or to even the actual background. I think it looks pretty good there. I don't think I have to do any additional changes. If it looks good to you, go ahead and click on export. And from here, you're going to go ahead and click on export again. Now, one cool feature about this particular app when you use it in the desktop is that if you click on export, it's going to give you the video in both in, let me pause this. It's going to give you the video both in vertical and landscape. And this is really great when it comes to repurposing videos and you're sharing them on social media. So I absolutely recommend it this way because it's going to give you both options. Go ahead and download the video and you are good to go. And it's that simple to generate a free background for your videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and let me know if you are planning to try it out. Thanks for watching.